Is he in jail right now? Or he might have been. Dude, I seen like a meme there. and it was like some prison has a better wide receiver crew than the Chicago Bears or something. <laughs> they honestly might. I just honestly, the. <laughs> It's fucked up. <laughs> I, I I just want to address the Jerry Judy situation because people are so people are so excited to make fun of NFL players for like going to jail and like yes, there's way too high a percentage of NFL players who end up committing like serious crimes. It's kind of sad for the league, but Jerry Judy didn't do shit. Jerry Judy barely did anything, and it's crazy that he even got a misdemeanor case. Okay, so Denver Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy's girlfriend asks for the misdemeanor case to be dismissed. Okay. The girlfriend of Jerry Judy asked the judge on Friday to dismiss a misdemeanor case against him stemming from a dispute between them. The woman who has a one month old child with Judy told Judge Chantel Contaguglia that she did not feel threatened during the incident and made contact with the authorities to monitor the situation. What happened? Okay, his charge is a ridiculously weird charge too, by the way. He got charged with second degree criminal tampering with a domestic violence enhancer, which is a fucking ridiculous charge. Here's what happened. Jerry Judy locked his his girlfriend's phone and wallet in her car and would not let her get them. What? That's what happened. Isn't that fucking crazy? I did not even read it. I didn't read this yet. Cause like, I he wanted to- did nothing. There was no physical violence. There was no domestic violence. Here we go. This explains it pretty well. Domestic violence can include any crime committed against an intimate partner or their property that is used to intimidate, coerce, or seek revenge against them. The law also requires police to arrest anyone they suspect committed such a crime. So he was attempting to intimidate, coerce, or seek revenge against her by locking her property in her car and not letting her get to it. And obviously the reason she can't get to it, like if she had done that to him, he could have physically just taken the keys from her, but she couldn't obviously physically take the keys from an NFL wide receiver. So that's why he got the charge he got. That's why he was put in jail. His bond was only 1500 uh, and he got out super quick. It's silly. She even admitted that she called the cop because she was like, hey, he's locking my shit in my car and I don't like it, but he's not doing anything to me. And now she's asking for the case to be dismissed. So I, I really wanted to talk about this because he didn't really do shit and everybody's freaking out about it. It's just not a big deal. Right. You just it. see like the, the big headline and it makes it way. look really bad. So oh, of course, well, when Henry Ruggs does the shit he does and all these other players, Alvin Kamara beats the shit out of somebody yeah. and all this stuff happens in the NFL. As soon as you heal NFL player arrested, it's like you want to jump to the worst conclusion. But this was this was a goof. This was a goof. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. pretty ridiculous. This was he, I can't bad. believe he actually went to like jail for that. It's illegal. I mean, I mean, yeah. you got arrested if I did it, or you did it. We get arrested too. So true, true. yeah, but I think it was really just a bigger deal because people love to jump on. People love when NFL players get arrested because it's such a big makes sense. Big, yeah, yeah. He's getting traded to the Raiders now. Actually, which is crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. Very good point. But yeah, so Jerry Judy, free my boy. He's probably already out. So I think him. it. I think he. Is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>